Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 12 pans of Christmas project pan finale. First update is my hand cream and I have finished it, it is completely done. Um, so this will be in my December empties. As I said in the first update when I had basically finished the other hand cream and introduced this, like I'm so glad I did this project because that's now two hand creams that I have knocked out by the end of the year that would have otherwise definitely still been languishing in my collection so very pleased to have finished that. Another thing that I have finished through the project is my Omravitsa Queen of Hungary mist. This is completely done, completely empty. Again had I not put this in the project it would definitely have still been in my collection going into 2022 so now you will see it in my December empties and I am very very glad to be getting it moved out. And the last empty that I've got is my Kiehl's eye cream so this was cut open in the last update so you knew that this was going to be empty by this time and it is it is completely and utterly used up so another one for the December empties and another one that would have definitely still been in my collection going into 2022 had I not put it in this project pan so super super pleased with all of them there are a couple of products that I haven't quite met my goals on but I'm very close to my goals and I'm still super glad that they were in this project. So the first one is the Kiehl's Smoothing Oil Infused Leave-In Concentrate. So my hair is looking a bit rubbish today actually and I think it's probably because I use a touch too much of this trying to be like, I'm trying to finish this up. I feel like my hair has been so flat and yeah, just not what I want it to be for the last like week whilst I've been desperately hoping to make the the end of this one but it didn't quite happen. You'll be able to see in the cutaways how close I am. I will be able to finish it in January for definite so it will be knocked out of my collection much quicker than it would have been otherwise if I hadn't put it in the project and I feel like by putting this in and seeing how like so I started using this like as a hair mask the night before I was washing my hair like I have been like using this far more than I would have been had I not put it in the project and I'm still seeing how little progress I made each month and how long it would actually take me to use this product up if I wasn't putting it in the project and I wasn't using it in those extra ways to try and make the progress on it. So I feel like the, the thing I've really learned from this is that I know that my makeup inventory is really really full and a little bit out of control and I know that my skincare inventory is getting in control but still something that I'm wanting to like make sure I keep an eye on and don't bring in too much and whatever. It's always kind of gone in that order where I've been like I've got far too much makeup that is like main problem that I need to be working through. Then skincare I definitely had an excess but I was making progress with it and then hair care has always been the lowest in terms of the the value. It's always been the lowest priority. It's the one that I've been least a way of thinking of being thinking of as being problematic and out of control but then since I started my sort of makeup rehab life and you know went on my beauty no buy in 2018 and did my first inventory and whatever like I have realized just how long it takes me to use up hair products because basically I think my hair is happier the more I just leave it alone. I don't use a lot of products so although in comparison to my makeup and my skincare the amount of hair care products that I had was the least worrying. It's also a category that I don't move through very quickly so in terms of at least with skincare I am really consistently using skincare and makeup not so consistently using but through project planning and whatever I am using it and I do use it like I could use makeup every single day whereas hair products I tend to use when my hair's wet and I only wash my hair once a week so and then I kind of just leave it alone in between. It's going to take me so much longer to use hair products and I think I'd been a bit not as aware of that because I was so sort of blinded by the big numbers on the other two. So I feel like putting this in the project has really sort of emphasised that to me and really opened my eyes. It's made me more, more aware that I need to maybe make an effort to put hair products in project pans going forward. So really, really glad that I put this in this project and I've sort of had that realisation through doing that. Next up I had my body oil. Again I haven't quite finished this, I was really hoping to and I think this will still be in my December empties, like I think I'll finish this in the next couple of days. If it had been an end of December project rather than a 12 pans of Christmas project 
I feel like we would have made it. I feel like this will still be finished by the end of this week and, you know, be knocked out of my inventory for 2022. But we didn't quite make it, but we also wouldn't be here and ready to knock it out if we hadn't put it in the project. And then my bonus product was this shower oil which matches the body oil so you can see how much progress i've made on that through putting it in this project so this was never one of the official 12 pans of christmas this was like my bonus 13th pan and although i haven't used this up like i have made so much progress on this and um, i'm not going to finish it within a week obviously but yeah i feel like i'll finish this early 2022 and i'm feeling really good about that so i'm again really glad that i snuck this one in on to the products that i weigh first of all Estee Lauder illuminating primer at the intro this was 28 grams 28 grams at update number one 23 grams at update number two and for the finale we are down to 18 grams so i used 10 grams of product through this project again i don't think there's very much left so i think this will be my december empties i think i'll finish it this week so wouldn't be able to say that if i hadn't put it in this project so although i haven't finished it within the project i think i'll finish it within the year thanks to putting it in the project still very pleased about that my nose is so itchy i feel like i've like something's irritating my allergies today like my nose is switchy and my eyes are so red so i'm really sorry i suppose it's a bit festive if i look like rudolph but yeah like super itchy nose and really itchy red eyes and it's really not good the next product that i have been weighing is my benefit puff off the intro this was 13 grams then it was 12 grams at the next two updates and today it is 11 grams obviously not a lot of product but there was only 10 mils of product in this and that grammage includes the packaging so i don't know if you guys will be able to see but like when i look through this packaging i feel like it's basically like the product is about here and then i can see bits of it like kind of up the sides so i do think once i cut it open there's going to be a fair bit of usage left in it so i don't think i'm going to finish this in December but I feel like I'll hopefully finish it in January. Again had I not put it in the project it would definitely still be kicking about and not getting used at all so still glad that I put it in even though I was hoping to finish it within the project which I've not quite done. Then I've got my Pixie Vitamin C mask. At the intro this was 48 grams. Update number one it was 40 grams. Last update was 32 grams and this update it is 28 grams. I'm really pleased with the amount of product that I've used there. I don't think there's very much left. I don't feel like I'll finish this in December but I feel like this will be finished in January and it will be in my January empties thanks to putting it in this project. So again although I haven't quite met my goal which was to try and finish it within the project I'm really happy that I put it in and that I made the progress that I did. The last product that I've got to update you on in this video is my Benefit Boying Airbrush Concealer. Again, haven't quite met my goal. I was aiming to finish this within the project and that hasn't happened. There's definitely more than a couple of uses left. So again, I don't think this will be a December empty, but I'm hoping I might finish it in January. I do have another concealer in my main 2022 project pan. So I don't know, because I might be kind of working between the two, trying to finish them both, but I am hoping maybe try and knock this one out before I get serious about trying to knock that one out. Hopefully you'll see it in an empties video soon. And then the last product that I don't have to show you is my number seven eyeshadow. Basically, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's been put in a box. I, my eczema and my eyes really flared up quite in the last couple of weeks. I think really annoyingly, it was my eyeshadow that I picked for my 2022 project pan that caused it to flare up, but we shall see. Basically, I've just not been wearing any kind of eye makeup um, other than like mascara for the last couple of weeks. So I've been staying away from eye makeup so I haven't I haven't been wearing it in the past two weeks but I thought it was in the box with all my other project pan stuff and it, it was not. So I did, I was trying to film this yesterday and I did search for it yesterday, couldn't find it, looked for it again today, still can't find it. Obviously now that I've filmed what will happen is I will import this footage, edit the video and about five minutes after I put it live I'm going to find the eyeshadow, that's, that's pretty much how this is going to work. Um, it's one of those ones because it's like a little like black compact single eyeshadow. I'm just not seeing it like it could be right in front of my face 
and I just can't see it. So that's really annoying because I definitely widened the pan since the last update. I found once I hit pan in the eyeshadow, I started widening that pan quite quickly. Um, so although I then stopped using it for the last two weeks, there was still progress to show you guys and I was really friggin' excited to show you guys um, the pan in that eyeshadow, but I now don't know where it is. Um, I'm sure it's in my house somewhere, like it wouldn't have been put in the bin or anything like that, but yeah, I can't, I can't find it at the moment. So hopefully it turns up ideally before I put this video live, but I don't think that's going to happen. I hopefully find it and be able to show you in another video the progress that I've made with it. Yeah, that's a slightly dejecting ending, but let's... The, the thing is, I made the progress. That's that is the main thing, but it would have just been nice to be able to share the progress. But anyway, this has been my finale for my 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan. If you have watched the finale without watching the rest of them, I will link up in the eye. I do have a playlist and you can watch them all in order. If you are a fan of Project Pan content, I do have my 2022 Project Pan, which I've already put up the intro video for. And I'm also planning to do more Project Pans like this, like small sort of three or four month Project Pans. I think I'm going to do like six by summer and five by fall uh, next year because I feel like these kind of suit me and I don't get as bored with the products um, quite as quickly as I do with a, a long term Project Pan. I'm definitely, I've not filmed my finale yet for my 2021 project pan, so that is coming, but like, I'm going to be so glad to take a break from those things. So if you're a fan of project pan content, do hit the subscribe button because there will be loads more coming your way in 2022 as I continue with my makeup rehab journey. Thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in my next video. Bye!